Hi, I'm Kimball Bumstead. I make colourful abstract paintings. This is Studio 73. Come and, uh, come and check out the show. Next Thursday, 23rd, private view. Come and have some drinks. And uh, yes, enjoy. Peace and love. Ciao. <laughs> So the artist with the best name ever to be at Studio 73 is with me right now. He's to your you know left. What? You know what? I was thinking about just changing it to Kimball. Okay. You know, getting rid of everything. I was even. I've been thinking about this the last <laughs> few days. I don't know why. Just, just like making it more simple. I mean, it's complicated, isn't it? Kimball Chris Bumstead is the best name ever. Like, my old man, he didn't really give me an awful lot in my life as I was growing up, but he did give me this one line and he said, Flower is a great name. People remember. Yeah, Flower. That's true. And I'm thinking, as a nine-year-old, I couldn't do anything with that because I just had to run fast really quickly in the playground. Right. <laughs> I mean, I'm Playground's surely the only, the only Kimball Chris Bumstead in the world. That's, have you checked? That's for sure. I have checked. Have you yeah, done so I, have, I have checked. Can you imagine I mean, you found another Kimball Chris Bumstead? You'd be like, hang on a minute. In fact, that would be kind of an interesting idea, you know, curating an exhibition of everybody who has the same name. The yeah. finest Kimball corner in the whole of Western Europe. Uh, at <laughs> Studio 73 in Brixton Village. Come and you heard it here Come and first. Check it out. <laughs> yeah. So you're an artist? Yeah, I guess so. Um, I do paintings. I used to do performance art, video and various other things. It's all varnish. Varnish and oil paint. Just, oh, I see, see So I've sort of said wood and then I just keep on building lots and lots of layers. Uh, varnish mixed with oil paint. Oh, yeah, we'll just, yeah, 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 have a look. Okay. They're, they're kind of, some people like to, to lick them. <laughs> yeah. I so, get so you did a fine art degree? I did a fine art degree, but I didn't really do any painting at all. I mean, I did it sort of for fun in, in sort of the background, but I only really started painting sort of around two, three years after I graduated. Okay, so what did you specialise in on the degree? Uh, I was doing interactive performance. Okay. So, like, one-on-one -on -one intimate performances. Right. I was interested in this idea that a piece of art is not, you know, necessarily an object, like a thing, you know? Okay, you a see. static thing, okay. But it's more the whole kind of negotiation that you have. It's an environmental thing and then... Uh, Environment and relationships. And oh, okay. people. So I was I, doing this stuff like using drawing as a... Uh, Using 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 drawing as a as a way of like capturing experiences with people. So I was doing this project about touch. Right. Okay. Touch drawing, like touching people's faces, and drawing at the same time. So like drawing what I could feel. Ah. Okay. So yes. what in a well lit room in an ordinarily in a lit room or in a dark in a dark space in a in tent. A, oh. Yeah. No, it was very intimate. It was very <gasps> sensual. Right. Okay. Uh, and it was very yeah, uh, that, I like kind of that. about about how the drawing would capture the, the sort of the intimacy or the, the sort of the specialness of the Wow, I like moment. the idea of that. That's a great idea. And that's and I just really I really like that that idea that you make a drawing in the dark or you blindfold. Um, and you don't really know where it's gonna go. You know, the drawing sort of like morphs by itself. And I guess I kind of I really thought about how to transform that into paint, painting, or, or sort of could I use painting in the same sort of way? And that's that's really how I started painting. And that's kind what of, we see today. This is a see. continuation of that kind of uh, yeah, exploration. Yeah, so that was sort of ten journey. years ago that I was doing that, and then it sort of just gradually changed and uh, developed into colourful, uh, oily kind of forces, sort of like flowing into each other and that sort of unexpected things that happen when you then sort of let them kind of do their own thing, you sort of give it a direction and then it sort of like goes in another direction. And, you know, and just that, that whole kind of play, it's like a game of uh, playing with the materials. So we're in Ali's shop next to Studio 73. Uh, Happy New Year everybody. Uh, 
we're going to have a bumper year full of artist takeovers, so we want you to get in touch, send us some JPEGs of your work, and, uh, and uh, it would be really good to get you involved. We're also going to be doing salon shows, uh, so we're going to fill the walls and the windows with uh, many different artists. So there's lots of opportunity. Get in touch with us today. Info at studio73art.com. Happy New Year!